All right, y'all, we have some boneless, skinless chicken thighs that I cooked a few days ago in my crock pot. Um, it was in the freezer too, but that's okay. It's mostly thawed out. All right, now y'all, I have one large can of red enchilada sauce. So we pour in this right on top of our chicken. And honestly, this is probably like two, three pounds of chicken. Red enchilada sauce, yum, 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 yum. All right, let's do some seasoning. We're gonna use a little bit of uh, cumin, a little bit. Okay, about a teaspoon or so. We're gonna use a little bit of chili powder, about a teaspoon or so. All right, yep, all these same color colors. Okay, mm -hmm. a little bit of oregano. <laughs> all right, these seasonings go great together, I'm telling y'all. A little bit of salt. All right, and what do we have next? More red stuff, just kidding. Let's put some green onions in here. Good thing I have these standing by. So these are, besides decoration, these are actually part of the recipe, y'all, okay? Green onions. Um, I also have one red bell pepper that I cut up. It was a very small red pepper, but I'm like, you know what? We need some more red stuff in this in this dish. This is just gonna call, this dish is called red, all right? <laughs> and then we have one small can of diced green chilies. I guess we have a little more green stuff. Let's put that right on top. All right, I think that's everything for now. So we're gonna give this a little mixy mixy. All right, y'all, and this is, well, I don't know when I'm gonna post these, but we are here in my kitchen for the first time since we did some renovations. Now, y'all, we still doing some stuff. Y'all can probably see behind me, we have this blank wall. Um, there used to be a door right here, no more. Now it's just a wall. Now we have this door and we have Kevin the cat. So we still fixing this, y'all, but at least I can be back in my kitchen filming, all right? I'm so excited. Um, anyways, back to our uh, delicious, I was like, I already forgot what we're making. Oh yeah, I remember now. So we have chicken, enchilada sauce. Um, and if y'all don't have pre-cooked chicken, you can also put some uh, raw chicken in here and you'll just cook it longer. Anyways, we're going to cover this. We're going to cook this on high for about uh, two hours and then we're going to add something else. Y'all are going to love this easy, delicious crock pot dinner. All right, y'all, so here we have that chicken enchilada stuff we were cooking. <laughs> so now we're gonna do the rest. Uh, it's been cooking on high for like two hours. Um, so now, y'all, I have one package of cooked rotini. I'm gonna dump this in, all right? Cooked rotini. Oh, oops, and I got some juice on the on the bowl. That's okay, or on the bag, whatever, uh, blah, blah, blah. All right, I also have uh, eight ounces of sharp cheddar cheese. Right on in. And we add one cup of sour cream, roughly, one cup. How much is in here? Two cups, so we add in half of this container. All right, so now y'all, we gotta give this a little mix. I'll show you a different thing to mix it with. We're gonna mix this all together. This is gonna be so good, y'all. So this is a creamy chicken enchilada pasta. I used a leftover chicken or like, I, when, when Walmart or my grocery store has like the big packs of meat on sale, I just buy it and cook it all in my crock pot and put it in the freezer. So I use some boneless, skinless chicken thighs that I cooked, pre-cooked already. Um, but yeah, y'all can use whatever you want, all right? So I'm gonna keep mixing this. We're gonna cook this for about 20 more minutes and then uh, we gonna try it, y'all. I'm so excited. Hi, y'all. My name is Kevin the Cat and today we gonna try Mama's chicken enchilada pasta in the crock pot. Y'all, do you think that's how Kevin would talk if he talked? Is that how you talk, baby? You have a hot, he has a hot pitch meow. You a good boy? All right. He's such a good boy. He's so good. He just, look, y'all, he just wants to go. He literally sits here all day. I wish he would, um, he's, he's been sleeping here on the floor. We still have to fix this, but he's been literally sleeping on the floor next to the window because he loves looking outside. Anyways, chicken enchilada pasta, y'all. This is gonna be good, that's it. I mean, I can slap the counter right now, but remember, uh, wow, y'all, this is hearty, and look at that. Look at that, y'all. We put some sour cream in here, cheese, cooked pasta. Um, I suppose you can just do like a dump and bake as well, but we did it my way today, so let's put, a, let's put some on our plate. I'm hungry. Let's put a little bit more. This is my, my serving, okay? This is all for me. Wow, this is hurting my arm. It's heavy. <laughs> okay, y'all. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm not really gonna eat all this. That would be crazy, but I'll save some for Fred. All right, y'all, time to try it. Y'all, it's gonna be good. It's gonna be hot too, but it's gonna be good. I mean, that's it. Mmm. Y'all, this one's a winner. You have to try it.